All right, what's going on? I just wanted to quickly give an overview of my mental health stack, I guess you could call it. Um, so these, these are going to all be my dailies and these are as needed. And it's just going to be a quick overview of each thing. I'm not going to go super in depth, but um, we'll start with Fenebut or Fenebut, I think is the proper pronunciation. But um, so this is going to be a little bit controversial. Some people in some people's opinion, because I take it daily, uh, 275 milligrams twice a day, which is, if you look at the Russian literature, it was first synthesized in Russia. Um, it's for anxiety. It's a GABA agonist. Actually, it's a GABA analog, but also works on the GABA receptors in your brain. Um, it works pretty well. And unlike Xanax and things like that, it doesn't affect your, your motor control, coordination, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you look at the Russian literature, the therapeutic dosage is 250 milligrams twice a day, once or twice a day. So these pills happen to have 275 milligrams. So that's what I take. Um, yes, it is. It is addictive um, physically. I mean, the, they usually, the withdrawals manifest themselves psychologically, but um, if you take the same dosage every day and you have a, you keep an app, you keep access, you keep a supply of it so you don't run out and you use it responsibly, it actually works pretty well. So that's probably the longest I'm going to spend on anything so far. Um, these just simple fish oil and a multivitamin. I do need to get a higher quality multivitamin because some of the ingredients in these in this are less than ideal versions of of some particular vitamins but um i do the fish oil and the multivitamin for just overall health but particularly fish oil like dha and uh epa it's actually, it's good for a lot of things. And one of the things is brain health and cognitive function. Um, and just keeping good levels of, you know, a, vari a various, various vitamins, keeping good quantities in your system, good levels in your system is going to help a lot of things, both mentally and physically. This is another good one that for sleep and anxiety, uh, magnesium. Now, when you're picking magnesium, it's a good idea to pay attention to the form of magnesium that you're getting because it's not only magnesium that you're going to be getting. If you look at the bottle, this one is magnesium glycinate, and I'm going to explain that, but um, every kind of magnesium you're going to get, it's going to have a magnesium molecule attached to another molecule, usually an amino acid, and that's what this is. Glycine is an amino acid. It's another, the glycine is good for anxiety as well and sleep. Um, I believe it has effects on the GABA system in your brain also. And I definitely, I, this is empty. I need to re-up on this. But there was a period of time where I went a couple weeks without it. And I definitely noticed that it was harder for me to get to sleep. So this definitely anxiety. I'm not so sure how much this helps because I take so many things for anxiety, but definitely this, the magnesium glycinate has helped me with sleep for sure. This next one, this is a new uh, brand that I just bought yesterday, but I've been taking uh, a mix of raw ashwagandha powder and km 66 or is it ksm oh come on ksm sorry ksm 66 um ashwagandha extract but this also has some uh some nootropics and some like bacopa monieri ginseng um baca powder rhodiola rosea it's got some more L-theanine, which I'm going to talk to talk to you about. But there is some 
really good research that came out in the early 2000s, I believe, that gave evidence of ashwagandha's efficacy when it comes to anxiety, stress. Um, in males, it raises testosterone a little bit, not a lot. Your testosterone range obviously will still be within the normal range, but there's very solid evidence that it raises for, for a really big percentage of the test subjects. It was pretty consistent in raising testosterone uh, a few points. And if you notice a lot of uh, testosterone boosters that you can buy, they'll have ashwagandha in it for that reason. But, I mean, I take it specifically for anxiety. And, um, and honestly, raising your testosterone a little bit, if you have low T, even if not, um, it's in males, that's going to help mental health as well. But I've been taking ashwagandha for quite a while. Um, maybe I could do a review on this one and see what all the other ingredients do in combination with one another and see if I notice a difference. But anyway, ashwagandha raw powder plus extract 5 htp is the last one that i take daily 5 htp is a serotonin precursor serotonin being one of the they call it one of the happy chemicals it's kind of misleading but it's a serotonin pre precursor which your body produces 5 htp naturally but um this will give you, taking these obviously will give you more free floating 5-HTP um, floating around in your brain, which will be available for your brain to hopefully produce a little extra serotonin if you have an issue with that. Um, I feel like it, I've been taking it every day for six months to a year. Pretty sure it helps, um, but you know, I'm not so sure about this as much as the ashwagandha, but what I've been doing seems to be working for me. So I'm keeping it in the rotation and I, I intend on doing so for a while. These next ones are as needed. L-theanine is a non-essential amino acid, which, oh God, I always forget. I always forget the neurotransmitter that it acts on. Oh, I can't remember. It's not, it's not GABA. It's something else. Actually, and it's not uh, the one that it acts on. So most of the stuff for anxiety will increase GABA. This L-theanine inhibits one of the excitatory neuro neurotransmitters. And I'm sorry... I, I can't remember what it is. I want to say it begins with a C. Um, it's not dopamine. It's not serotonin. Um, it's not GABA, like I said. But this definitely works pretty well. And it's good to combine with caffeine. Because it will kind of even out the jitters. And L-theanine and caffeine, it's well known that they work synergistically with one another you know, to help the caffeine boosts your focus and energy and the L-theanine calms you down. So it's like a calm, smooth energy that you can get when you, uh, when you take them together. Um, I take more caffeine than I should. And when I take it, I take L-theanine, but every once in a while I'll take it by itself. Um, if I feel like I need to just chill out a little bit. And these are medical marijuana uh, products. I have the vape and the oil, which I take, I usually put it in an empty capsule and swallow it. Um, I do the edible stuff probably about half and half. Sometimes it's the vape, sometimes it's the edible stuff, but I try to take the smallest amount that I possibly can to achieve the effect that I would like because when the sun's up, I don't like being super high. Even at night these days, I don't really like to get super high. Um, I just, it helps with anxiety and I feel like there's kind of a spiritual aspect to, uh, 
being under the influence of a little bit more THC. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but it's just the the last thing that I'm going to mention here that that I use um, not daily, but pretty often as part of my mental health stack. So there you go. Just a quick overview of all this stuff. If you have any questions about anything specifically, let me know. I am going to have an in-depth video on Fenibut, Fenibut coming. Um, I have like 15 years of experience on and off, sometimes daily, sometimes occasionally with Fenibut and Fenibut. And I just want to pass my knowledge on because I feel like it's one substance that I'm pretty knowledgeable about. But anyway, this video is longer than I wanted it to be. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you got some information from this that you didn't know and keep on keeping on and I'll catch you on the next one.